Hi everyone, Rick Bray with BT BOCES Instructional Support, and in this series of videos, I'd like to introduce you to the web tool called Kami. Kami is a website that does offer both a free and paid version, and we'll try to distinguish between those two as we go through, but it allows you to take uh, files from various places and annotate or draw on them. So how do I get there? Well, the first step, you can go to, as you see in the web address, www.camiapp.com. Alternatively, you can do a Google search for Cami, and it will probably be the first hit. Yep, there we go. Cami, number one PDF and document annotation app. Once we're in there, if you need, you can create an account for free. Uh, you can link it to your Google account or you can sign in if you already have an account. Now I'm going to open up just a blank page here to show you some basic tools. And on the left hand side, I can see that there's select text with a few other options. There's a highlighter where I can, uh, text highlighter will allow me to go over text and highlight text. Or this is a box highlighter where right, it makes a a box of highlighting. Uh, the important thing to note there is I can't necessarily like scribble draw um, highlighter. So just a little heads up with that one. I can strike through, all right? Most of these are pretty uh, self-explanatory. Uh, this equation editor, this is a paid feature, which I have the paid account, so that's why it's showing up. Otherwise, it'll have a little lock by it. Um, but you can see I can insert some symbols here into a text box. Uh, drawing, that's available with the free, where I can change all different sorts of colors. Oh, that's great, grand, and wonderful. And I can draw, which we'll see a little bit more later. I can add shapes. Uh, I can add an eraser. I can insert an image. These two down at the bottom. The signature, uh, if you've ever seen it, allows you to like plug in your digital signature if you're signing for files. That's that's a paid version and text to speech is also a feature in the paid version. Uh, but there you go. That is basically what Kami does. It allows you to draw on here. Now, what's great is if you pull in a file, which we're going to show you in another video, it doesn't make changes to that file in its source location. So for example, if I open something from Google Drive, the annotations, the changes that I make will only show up here in Kami. They won't show up on the Google file itself, which has some advantages and disadvantages. Um, but we'll take a look at that more in some future videos. So let's move on to the next one.